Hey everyone, um, welcome to this entry of the Diary of a Shopaholic, and today I have a haul from Hobby Lobby, and just a couple things I picked up at, um, the dollar store, so, um, I just want to get started on that, since I have a bunch of stuff to do. Um, I went to Hobby Lobby, I do not have a haul, ho uh, hello, um, sorry, I can't talk right today, um, I do not have a Hobby Lobby anywhere too close to me, but I did go to one of the ones in, um, Utah on my way up there, and I picked up a few things. I went in there and, and practically died because it is so huge and amazing in there. I don't know if they're all really big like that, but the one I went to was really big, and there's just so many things that I was just amazed. I was just amazed that it was so big, and they have everything there. Um, so the first thing I picked up were some of the were some of these felt I cannot talk were some of these felt pieces, and they're like this stiff felt. And I figured I could use them for backgrounds, and they were relatively inexpensive. So um, I picked one up in pink. I picked one up in zebra, of course, and I picked one up in leopard. So those are really neat. I thought I could use them for backgrounds and. Um, if they don't work out for that, I'm sure I'll find some use for them. But I think, I want to say they were under a dollar a piece, and they're pretty big pieces, so. Um, and then I found some of their, um, sticker paper. So I picked up a few sheets of that. I picked up the Holographic Stars. I also picked up Holographic Larger Stars in blue. I picked up this really cool like icicle looking holographic one it's just like really chunky pieces I thought that was really pretty um, I found one in pink hearts in purple bubbles and this one is my favorite I thought it was iridescent when I was looking at it in the store but once I got it outside it is a white um, holographic isn't that so neat? It's a holographic white piece of paper, so um, I thought that was pretty. I was really excited about that. So there's all those. And I picked up a few of their um, little bottles of glitter. I picked one up in bubble gum, and this is the bubble gum that is white on one side and iridescent pink on the other side. So, um, there's that one. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Okay. Um, so there's that one. See how the, it looks like there's two tones in there, like white and pink? Um, and that one is called bubblegum, right? Yeah, bubblegum. So there's that one. And I picked one up in purple. Those are 147, in case you guys didn't already see the tag. Um, picked one up in purple. And that's what that one looks like. It's a really pretty purple. I picked one up in turquoise. Turquoise. And that's what that guy looks like. It's coming off a little bit more blue than it actually is. It, it really is like a greenish blue turquoise. And then the last one of those little guys I picked up was in lime. It's just a really, like, kind of like a chartreuse lime color. And I picked up a couple of poly flakes. I have a few of these already. I think I have, I think I already have the silver one, the gold one, and then one of the iridescent ones. But, um, this one here is the, let me see. Disco GHT. These are, um, they have different, let me show you the other one. The other one is VHT, and this one's GHT. Um, their disco line that they have, you pay attention to the letters at the end because there are different ones. Um, this one here is just the iridescent one, and this adds so much sparkle. Just a pinch of it adds so much pizzazz to any mix or anything you want to put it in. Um, but this one reflects pink. 
it's a really pretty iridescent um, and it reflects pink and this one's VHT I'm guessing that stands for violet because um, it is a iridescent and it reflects like blue and purple it's very pretty and then the other one that I have I want to say it reflects like a greenish kind of color I'm not sure maybe like a bluish green so these are really cool these are really really neat um, how much should I pay for them there I paid about four bucks each for them but um, it's really good and like I said just a pinch goes a long way these work really well and the only place I've ever seen them is at Hobby Lobby um, I think you might be able to get a couple of these online but um, they don't list everything they have in the store online so that's why I was like dying to actually go to a Hobby Lobby and see what they had there. Um, the next thing that I got that I was really excited about and I went there looking for these. This is what I was looking for because I saw in um, Janice who's Love, Love and Beauty and Style. Um, she showed these in one of her hauls and I just like died. I love them and I had to get them and it is these um these are like extra large hexes and it has this red um this green and this entirely opaque matte white so I was really excited about those and there's a ton in there and I picked up two packs I was just like oh my gosh I have to stock up on these these are so cool so um I picked up two packs of those and it's the Make It Christmas. They have them in their little like center consoles in between the aisles is where I found them. I looked for them forever and finally I looked there and there they were. So I picked up two packs of those, stocked up on those hexes. And then the last thing I got from there that I was really excited about was they had this bag of like neon neon pink mylar and it reflects the most beautiful iridescent gold and purple so it's like hot pink and it reflects gold and purple it's like a party um sorry i didn't even show the front of it i'm i wasn't even um it's from prism crafts and it says it's the confetti which is like what they sell at michael's too but this was a huge bag for um two dollars 1.99 and, um, yeah, it was just this neon, neon pink. Like, it's so bright. I fell in love with it. And the fact that it reflects just, like, purple and gold with the neon pink underneath is gorgeous. So, I'll definitely be playing with that a lot. And there's a ton in there. Let me see. Um, it says there's one and a half ounces of it. So, there's just so much in here. I really, really was excited about that. Sorry, I just thought about all that crinkling noise I was making. Um, sorry about that. And then the last few things I want to show you guys are just some stuff I picked up at the dollar store. I just figured I would throw it in this video really quick. I picked up a few um, of these measuring spoons. I just, I always need them. I have a few sets already. I got this set too, actually. Um, I have a few sets already of these, but I feel like I always need one. And when I need one, it's dirty and I hate mixing my glitters and stuff like that. I hate mixing them. You know, like using the spoon and digging into another one. So, um, I just, every time I get a chance, I pick up some of these. And I like these because, look, this one has, um, it's the one eighth teaspoon, the one fourth. I, I really like the smaller ones for when you're making smaller amounts. So, I figure I can never have too many of those. I have a whole tray full of them. And I, I was like, oh, yellow ones. I'll get the yellow ones. And then I like how these have the tinier ones. So, I grabbed some measuring spoons. I probably ranted on about that way too long. And I was really happy to find these there. Um, it was a funnel set. A set of funnels. I am always looking for these things. And the only ones I've ever found were the really, really tiny ones for like arts and crafts. They're really small, which are good for the glitters. But I needed something a little bit bigger like this center one in here. But um, Or the really, really giant ones for... Um, like for oil and stuff, you know, like those funnels. But I found these, and these are a perfect size, I think. Let me see if I could just... I just want to show you guys the size of them. So, um, so yeah, I found that funnel set, and I definitely, definitely thought those would come in handy. So I picked up two of those, actually. 
there were only two there. Um, there are only two left, so I grabbed both of them. I also use them to, like, pour my protein powder into my protein shakes because I drink protein shakes and stuff in the morning. So I figured I could use a set for my glitter stuff and then a set for the kitchen. Um, what else did I pick up from there? I picked up some of these cute little, like, tree envelopes. Um... And then there's these little pumpkins. I thought those would be cute to send out, like, in either, like, little glitter swaps or maybe um, with sales with orders for my store Envy. And then the last thing I got were some of these um, nail strip little sticker thingies. And I got them in hot pink, purple, um, glittery pink, uh, silver glitter and this weird, you know, abstract line thing. So, um, yeah, I think that's all I got from there. Oh, and I got some, I found some, um, bedhead by TG, um, of their hair ties. And I was like, for a dollar? Like, of course. These things always cost, like, three bucks for a pack. So, I grabbed those. And I think that that's it. I showed you guys the papers in the beginning. So, yeah, that's it um, for this entry to the Diary of a Shopaholic. And I hope you guys have an amazing, wonderful Sunday. And, um, yeah, I'm going to get some stuff done. And I hope everybody has a great Sunday. I'll see you guys next time.